The Ambassador of the Year Award is the pinnacle of all awards given by the Columbia Chamber of Commerce. The selection committee started looking at all of the different entities and people that we could choose in the Columbia area. And when the Castle family was mentioned, everyone sat back and said, that's it. It was such a natural selection. We're so fortunate to have a company like Southeastern Freight Lines here in the Midlands. Started here almost 70 years ago, has grown and had tremendous success. And in spite of their size and the success and all the folks they employ, have chosen to continue to headquarter their company right here in the Midlands of South Carolina. When you walk into Southeastern Freight, the first thing you see is the Divine Servant. It is a gorgeous bronze sculpture that depicts Jesus washing the feet of Peter, his disciple. It was given to the company by its officers in honor of God and in honor of Mr. Castle's 80th birthday and his lifelong servant leadership. Culture is something that's so hard to describe. And yet when you walk into Southeastern Freight and you walk the halls and you interact with their associates, and you see their faces and their body language and the way they talk to one another, you realize it's a different place. And that comes from the leadership of the Castles. I have worked for W.T. Castle Sr., I worked for Bill Castle, and I worked for Tobin Castle. They are like family. And whatever they say, you can take it to the bank. Southeastern, in the hard times, has always looked after the people. We've never had a layoff in Southeastern. Southeastern is the place to be because they're always going to look out for the best interests of the employees. When I think of the Castles family, I, I think of the, the first word that comes to my mind is character. Uh, they are people of deep integrity. They're people of deep commitment. They're people of faith. Uh, they're people of sacrifice. Uh, I think of the word character. So one of the biggest things Tobin's taught me is perspective. Um, particularly from a Christian worldview, candidly. He, that's something that he espouses very uh, openly. And the balance between working at serving in a family business, but also loving and serving your family um, that the Lord has given particularly to you, the way he balances that and the, we play tennis together. If Pat Castles calls while we are on the tennis court, He's going to answer that call. And getting to watch that has been a huge blessing to me just in terms of how I value different things in life. Well, most people, when they think of the Castles family, they think of Southeastern Freight Lines. But in their set of priorities, Southeastern Freight Lines is not the number one priority in their lives. I would say the business is the fourth priority in their life. Number three is serving the community but they do it uh, under the radar, but they're very strategic and very, uh, very impactful in what they do. The second priority is their family, and you can see that passed on generation to generation to generation. I, I know from Mr. Castles down to their grandchildren, and there's a strong commitment to family, but throughout the whole family, their first priority is, is a faith commitment. They prioritize their walk with the Lord Jesus Christ above all else. When Tobin's son, Toby, passed away, tragically at the age of 21, the family came together and with their abiding faith and their commitment to our community, they gave a grant to Oliver Gospel Mission to start Toby's Place, a much needed shelter for women and children. Their commitment to our community has created, out of tragedy, a long-lasting legacy, not only for Toby, but a long-lasting legacy of opportunity for the women and children in our region. Not only have Bill and Tobin and the entire Castle family served this community, they instill a culture among the associates of Southeastern Freight Lines to do the same thing. The associates at Southeastern Freight serve in many capacities in this community. They do many volunteer activities that benefit many organizations throughout the Columbia area. Tonight's a huge honor for the Castles. 
but they are dreading every moment of it because they do not like to be the center of attention. For example, Tobin and I spent months going through the process of getting Mr. Castles the Order of the Palmetto, the highest award for a civilian in our state. We had it all done. There's one last check that needed to be done, and that was by the governor's office, and that was to see if he had ever received it before. But Tobin knew his dad had never received the Order of the Palmetto previously. Turns out that he had back in 1978, and Mr. Castles is so humble that he didn't even tell his own family. Tobin has no idea where the Order of the Palmetto is. So I'd say to the Castles, thank you. Thank you for who you are and how you live your life. Thank you for the way you treat your employees. Thank you for what you do for our community with substantial gifts and a great generosity that make Columbia and the Midlands a better place to live. It was my privilege to have worked for the Castles. I appreciate the opportunity and the kindness that they showed me all through the years.